In the annals of military history, as the dust settled after World War II and the Cold War loomed, a new force emerged from the arid landscapes of the Middle East. Get ready to witness the birth of a formidable arsenal that would redefine warfare as we know it. Welcome to Israel, a nation shaped by the crucible of conflict and armed with some of the most advanced and experimental weaponry in the world. How do we reconcile the immense power of these weapons with the values of preservation and defense? Can we fathom the weight of responsibility that comes with wielding such power? Join us on a captivating journey into the heart of Israel's technological prowess, SpongeBomb. Here is a freakish thought. How can the smooth, leathery material that smoothens even the worst of skins become a weapon of mass destruction? Amid an impending full-blown invasion, Israel's operations in the Gaza Strip have taken an unexpected turn. With the Air Force conducting extensive strikes on Hamas's stealth and infrastructure, a new and mysterious weapon has emerged from the shadows, the sponge bomb. This innovative bomb shrouded in secrecy possesses the uncanny ability to seal off the intricate network of tunnels beneath Gaza without the need for explosions. As tensions escalate, the Israel Defense Forces remain tight-lipped about the specifics of these sponge bombs. However, reports suggest that these ingenious weapons can effectively seal off tunnel entrances, thwarting potential surprise attacks by Hamas militants. But why are these sponge bombs being hailed as Israel's new secret weapon? A sponge bomb is a peculiar kind of chemical grenade, devoid of conventional explosives. Instead, it triggers a controlled explosion of foam upon impact. This foam rapidly expands and solidifies, creating an impenetrable barrier within the tunnel passageways, famously referred to as the Gaza Metro. With its strategic use, the sponge bomb aims to prevent potential ambushes by militants emerging from these hidden pathways. However, the utilization of such advanced equipment does not come without its risks and complications. The volatile liquid emulsion within the sponge bombs has led to unfortunate incidents with some soldiers reportedly rendered blind due to the hazards associated with handling these weapons. To mitigate these dangers, Israel may need to employ technological adaptations, such as throwbots. These remote-controlled robots can relay images back to the operator, ensuring safer operation from a distance. As the conflict intensifies and the battle for control rages on, the mysterious sponge bomb emerges as a symbol of technological innovation and strategic prowess. The intricate dance between Hamas militants and the Israeli forces takes on a new dimension, with the labyrinthine tunnels of the Gaza Strip becoming both a battleground and a covert sanctuary. In this high-stakes confrontation, the secret weapon known as the Sponge Bomb holds the potential to reshape the course of the conflict. Will it provide a decisive advantage to the Israeli forces, or will unforeseen complications rip off its peculiarity in unveiling Israel's top secret weapon and technology? Only time will reveal the true impact of this enigmatic weapon, as the battle for supremacy continues to unfold in the shadows beneath the surface. Iron Dome Amid the conflict, as rockets rained down from Gaza into Israel, the Israeli military faced a daunting challenge. Luckily, the Israel military was locked and loaded, and this challenge proved to be nothing more of an ice snippet for the giant military of Israel to handle. As the chaos erupted, the military unveiled their infamous, extraordinary layer of protection. Meet Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system, a true game-changer in the realm of defense. Since its introduction in 2011, the Iron Dome has become the bedrock of Israel's defense. With an estimated 3,500 rockets launched from Gaza, the Israeli military relied on this powerful system to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and mortars. In this video, you could see a rocket hurtle through the sky, threatening lives and peace. But in a split second, the Iron Dome springs into action. Powered by missile defense batteries, this remarkable system is composed of three main components. Each battery, mobile and agile, can defend against short-range rocket and mortar attacks within a radius of almost 45 miles. It can be swiftly deployed to wherever it's needed most, protecting the lives of Israeli citizens. Here's how it works. A radar unit detects the incoming rocket, swiftly relaying crucial information about its speed and trajectory to the battery's control center. 
The control center's advanced computers analyze the data, calculating whether the rocket poses a threat to populated areas. If the threat is imminent, a missile is launched from the Iron Dome's launcher. Each launcher holds 20 interceptor missiles, each one receiving constant guidance updates from the internal radar. With precision and accuracy, the interceptor missile explodes near the incoming rocket, obliterating it before it can cause harm. Here is the goal. To intercept the rockets far away from populated areas, minimizing damage on the ground. And the Iron Dome's success rate is awe-inspiring. The Israeli military proudly states that it currently operates at a 90% success rate, just as it has in previous rounds of attacks. Since its inception in 2011, the Iron Dome has intercepted over 2,400 rockets bound for civilian areas, saving countless lives and protecting communities. During conflicts in 2012 and 2014, it significantly blunted the aerial effect of rocket attacks, proving its unparalleled effectiveness. This remarkable defense system has garnered international attention and support. The United States, recognizing its importance, has provided over a billion dollars in funding for the Iron Dome. The U.S. has even acquired and tested its batteries. In 2001, amidst concerns of potential attacks from China, the U.S. forces began testing a version of the Iron Dome in Guam, showcasing its global significance. Israel, too, has expanded the Iron Dome's reach by installing missile batteries on ships, further fortifying its defense capabilities. However, even with its undeniable success, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu expressed caution about sharing the system with Ukraine, fearing that it could fall into the wrong hands. The Iron Dome, or Kipat Barzil in Hebrew, is an integral part of Israel's arsenal. It has solidified its reputation as an exceptional defense system, highly effective in safeguarding Israeli citizens. So the next time you hear the sirens blaring, remember the incredible story of the Iron Dome, a technological marvel that intercepts rockets, protects lives, and ensures a safer tomorrow, David Sling. One would easily think of this as the biblical sling in the combat between David and Goliath. Sit tight, and let's find out. In a world of ever-evolving threats and the need for advanced defense systems, one military project stands out as a true marvel of technology and collaboration. Enter David's Sling, a name that conjures images of ancient battles and legendary heroes. But this is no mere myth or folklore. It is a cutting-edge military system jointly developed by two powerhouses in the defense industry, Raphael Advanced Defense Systems and Raytheon. David's Sling, formerly known as Magic Wand, is a force to be reckoned with. Its primary objective? Intercepting enemy planes, tactical ballistic missiles, rockets, and even cruise missiles. The range of its capabilities is awe-inspiring, spanning from 40 to 300 kilometers. This means that no matter where the threat originates, David's sling is ready to strike it down. But how does it work? The heart of this system lies in its stunner missile an innovation that can intercept the newest generation of tactical ballistic missiles. Equipped with dual CCDD IR seekers, it possesses the ability to distinguish between decoys and the actual warhead of the missile. And if that weren't impressive enough, the Elta ELM-2084 radar provides crucial tracking capabilities. You can see a multi-stage interceptor hurtling through the sky, propelled by a solid-fuel rocket motor booster. Its asymmetrical kill vehicle possesses advanced steering, allowing for unparalleled maneuverability during the crucial kill stage. And just when you think it couldn't get any more intense, a three-pulse motor kicks in, providing additional acceleration and maneuverability during the terminal phase. In November 2012, the world watched eagerly as David's sling prepared to enter operational service. The anticipation was tangible, and the possibilities seemed endless. But it wasn't just about countering rockets and missiles. It was about safeguarding lives and ensuring peace. Fast forward to late November 2014, and David's sling was ready to be put to the test. Deployed in various areas across Israel, it underwent rigorous trials to prove its mettle. Short and medium-range rockets were intercepted, expanding the system's coverage threefold compared to its predecessor, Iron Dome. But the trials didn't stop there. Aircraft and longer-range missiles, followed by cruise missiles, were next on the agenda. 
The system seamlessly integrated with the Home Front Command's command and control systems, creating an unstoppable defense network. Recognizing the significance of David's sling, Israel sought additional assistance from the United States. A request for $250 million in funding was made, ensuring the production and advancement of this groundbreaking system. The future was within reach, and the potential for expanding the system's capabilities seemed limitless. Despite some delays due to budget constraints, David's sling was officially declared operational on April 2, 2017. The culmination of years of hard work and dedication, this milestone marked the activation of the final component in Israel's multi-tiered anti-missile defense array. Not content with resting on their laurels, the minds behind David's sling have turned their attention to new frontiers. An air-launched variant is currently in the works, promising even greater flexibility and adaptability in the face of evolving threats. So as we marvel at the technological wonders of David's sling, let us remember that this is more than just a military system. It is a symbol of resilience, innovation, and the unwavering commitment to protect and defend. The tale of David and Goliath may be ancient, but with David's sling, its spirit lives on in the modern world. Merkava main battle tank. In the vast expanse of the Israeli army's training grounds, a formidable presence emerges. It is the latest generation of the Israeli main battle tank, the Merkava 5. Nicknamed Barak, this mighty machine is about to face its ultimate test, the field capability tests with the Israeli army. As the sun rises over the horizon, the Merkava 5 stands ready, operated by the 52nd Battalion of the 401st Iron Track Armored Brigade. The 401st Iron Track, an armored brigade in the 162nd Division of the Israel Defense Forces, under the Southern Command, is no stranger to the power of the Merkava 5 tanks. But today, it is the Merkava 5 that steals the spotlight. The design of the Merkava 5 is a marvel, integrating the latest technologies and innovations in digital protection and combat capabilities. Its silhouette is reminiscent of its predecessor, the Merkava 4. With the driver's position located on the left side of the hull, the turret rising behind it, and the mighty engine positioned at the front. It is a testament to the continuity of design, with improvements that set it apart. But it is not just the exterior that makes the Merkava 5 a force to be reckoned with. Its armament is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Equipped with a 120mm smoothbore gun developed by Israel Military Industries IMI, it possesses the firepower to unleash devastation upon its foes. High penetration projectiles and anti-tank missiles with a range of up to 4,000 meters make it a formidable adversary on the battlefield. Let us not forget the secondary armament, a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and another mounted to the starboard side of the turret roof. These weapons ensure that the Merkava 5 has no blind spots, ready to unleash a torrent of firepower from every angle. But what truly sets the Merkava 5 apart is its active protection system, the Trophy APS. This cutting-edge technology is designed to engage the most advanced anti-tank missiles and rocket-propelled grenades. It creates a protective bubble around the tank, swiftly detecting and neutralizing any threats that dare to approach. As the tank moves with calculated precision, a date-night camera provides a panoramic 360-degree view, leaving no corner of the battlefield unseen. The tank commander dons a digital helmet, a gateway to a 3D view of the battlefield. It is not just a helmet, it is a command center, providing vital information for combat operations and making split-second decisions that can mean the difference between victory and defeat. This weapon boasts new sensors, enabling it to independently acquire targets with lightning speed, engaging opponents before they have a chance to react. With advanced electronic warfare and processing systems, it is a force to be reckoned with, outsmarting and outmaneuvering its adversaries at every turn. And what powers this mechanical behemoth? A roaring V12 diesel engine generating an astonishing 1,500 horsepower. With a maximum speed of 64 kilometers per hour and a cruising range of up to 500 kilometers, the Merkava 5 is relentless in its pursuit of victory. As the field capability tests unfold, 
The Merkava 5 proves its mettle, leaving no doubt that it is a formidable force on the modern battlefield. It is a symbol of Israel's unwavering commitment to defense and its relentless pursuit of technological superiority. The Merkava 5, the embodiment of power, innovation, and the indomitable spirit of the Israeli army. In its presence, enemies tremble, and peace is secured. Dolphin-class submarines. Like the strides of a hungry shark, here is another surprise from the world military power of Israel. Here is another fearful surprise. In the volatile region of the Middle East, where Israel finds itself surrounded by enemies, the stakes are usually very high. To counter any eventuality, Israel possesses a weapon that strikes fear into the hearts of its adversaries, the Dolphin-class submarines. Israel's immediate neighbors, Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Egypt, are just the first-hand witnesses. Beyond them lie Turkey, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, the rest of the Gulf, and Iran. All of these countries have declared war against Israel at least once in the past. Within this challenging landscape, Israel, with its small landmass and a population of only 8.5 million, needed a countermeasure to ensure its survival. Enter the Dolphin-class submarines, the most potent weapon in Israel's arsenal. These submarines embody the concept of a nuclear triad, allowing Israel to launch nuclear weapons from land, air, and sea assets. While Israel neither confirms nor denies the existence of its nuclear arsenal, it is widely believed to possess a substantial stockpile. Israel's initial nuclear weapons were large gravity bombs, designated for delivery by the robust F-4 Phantom fighters. As Israel advanced its nuclear capabilities, smaller bombs were developed, likely utilizing the F-15-1 and F-16L fighters. However, land-based missile systems, such as the Jericho series, though potent, are vulnerable to preemptive strikes. This vulnerability led Israel to invest in its most lethal weapon, the Dolphin-class submarines. Under a unique deal with Germany, Israel acquired three enlarged Type 209 diesel-electric submarines. Displacing 1,900 tons while submerged, these submarines remain undetectable beneath the depths of the ocean. With a length of 57 meters and a crew of 35, they entered service in 1999 to 2002. Each Dolphin-class submarine is equipped with six regular 553mm tubes and four larger 650mm tubes. The regular tubes accommodate heavyweight torpedoes and anti-ship missiles, while the larger tubes have strategic implications. They can deploy submarine-launched cruise missiles, or SLCM, capable of carrying nuclear warheads. In the 1990s, when the United States declined to provide Israel with submarine-launched Tomahawk cruise missiles, Israel took matters into its own hands. It designed a submarine-launched cruise missile, the features of which remain classified. However, reports suggest that each missile carries a 200-kiloton nuclear warhead, far surpassing the destructive power of historical nuclear bombs. Israel's success in developing these submarine-launched cruise missiles was demonstrated in 2000, when a U.S. Navy radar detected an Israeli SLCM striking a target 930 miles away in the Indian Ocean. It was a resounding message to Israel's adversaries. They possess an unmatched capability to strike back. Recognizing the strategic importance of these submarines, Israel ordered three more from Germany, the Dolphin II-class. Derived from the state-of-the-art Type 212 submarines, these larger vessels displace 2,400 tons and feature air-independent propulsion technology. With the ability to stay submerged for 18 days at a time, they are faster and quieter than their predecessors. Two Dolphin II submarines have already been deployed, with the last one scheduled for delivery by the end of this year. The combination of Dolphin and Dolphin II submarines armed with Popeye Turbo SLBMs makes any act of aggression against Israel a suicidal endeavor for its enemies. In a region plagued by tensions and uncertainties, the Dolphin-class submarines serve as a silent and deadly deterrent. They are a testament to Israel's unwavering commitment to its defense and its determination to protect its people at all costs. With these submarines lurking beneath the waves, Israel maintains a formidable presence, ready to defend its nation and strike back with unprecedented force. 
Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In this captivating photograph, we can see an Israeli soldier, a guardian of the nation, standing tall amidst the raging storm of war. Adorned in battle attire, his eyes focused and determined, while he bears a weapon that defies comprehension. Its barrel emits fiery rays, weaving through the darkness with an otherworldly glow. What is the story behind this enigmatic weapon? What power does it hold within its fiery core? As the soldier grips it firmly, one can't help but feel the weight of responsibility in their hands. Is this the culmination of years of research, an emblem of Israel's relentless pursuit of military dominance? As we uncover the secrets that lie within the fiery rays and explore the untold stories of the soldiers who carry the weight of their nation's security on their shoulders. It's a journey of unveiling Israel's top secret weapon and technology. Tell us which of these secrets enthralls you the most in the comment section. Unmanned Combat Vehicles UCVs. As remote weaponry develops at a frightening speed, its introduction into warfare is on the rise. Armies around the world recognize the benefits of sending in highly adaptable and lethal weapons without any loss of life. Today, we're going to explore four of the most sophisticated examples of this type of weaponry. Let's begin with the Robotic Autonomous Sense and Strike, or ROBUST for short. Developed by Elbit Systems for the Israeli Ministry of Defense, this uncrewed ground vehicle is as robust in design as it is in the name. It utilizes advanced robotic technologies to expand Israel's autonomous combat capabilities in all-terrain and all-weather battlefield conditions. The Robust is a 6x6 advanced wheeled vehicle with exceptional maneuvering capabilities. It can transport diverse and heavy mission loads, and it even has an integrated system for transporting and receiving uncrewed aerial vehicles. This vehicle focuses on operational effectiveness by simplicity and limited operator involvement. Armed with a 30mm autonomous turret developed by the Tank and APC Directorate for the ITN Armored Personnel Carrier, the Robust weighs over 5 tons. It features Elbit's Iron Fist Active Protection System, Fire Control and Mission Management Systems, and a robotic autonomous kit. It also has situational awareness systems for forward reconnaissance missions, along with a capsule drone on board. The Robust is driven by a virtual driver based on an Edge AI-powered autonomous driving module. This virtual driver uses state-of-the-art 3D visualization and passive sensing systems for visual and thermal sensing. It can plan its path, detect obstacles, and dynamically adjust its route in real time, all autonomously. But it's not just the driving that's automated. The vehicle also has a virtual gunner equipped with capabilities for automatic target recognition, auto-tracking for multiple targets, a smart fire plan, and context-based target prioritization. It represents some of the most sophisticated technology on board a remote vehicle. Next, let's move on to the Theus UGV. This stands for Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System, and it's another remotely controlled unmanned ground vehicle. Designed by Milm Robotics, this vehicle features an innovative design with two independent tracks that bear two types of propulsion, a diesel motor and an electric generator. It's technically a hybrid vehicle that can also run solely on an electric motor using advanced batteries and ultracapacitors. The Thais UGV offers excellent mobility for on- and off-road operations. It can travel at a speed of 50 km per hour for up to 8 hours. The modular platform on the tracks can be equipped with various systems, making it highly versatile. It can serve as a basic UGV platform, supply transport, lifting platform, unmanned ground combat vehicle, anti-tank platform, and more. It can even tow and pull heavy object weighing up to 30 tons. The Theus UGV is remotely controlled from a distance of up to 1.5 kilometers, allowing operators ample clearance. Features like follow operator and autonomous control system enable the operator to focus on other tasks during a mission. It also has swarming capabilities, where a group of these unmanned vehicles can operate autonomously and conduct joint tasks. This unmanned vehicle has proven itself in combat. In 2019, during its first combat experience, the Theis UGV was hit by a suicide vehicle packed with explosives. Despite sustaining significant damage from the blast, it remained operational. 
It showcases its resilience and effectiveness on the battlefield. Multi-purpose infantry systems based on the Theus UGV can be armed with different weaponry, including anti-tank missiles, machine guns, and remote control weapon stations. This allows them to effectively engage light-armored vehicles. The Theus Adder variant, for example, features the Adder RCWS, developed by ST Kinetics, which can be used with various weapons. These examples represent just a glimpse into the world of sophisticated remote weaponry. As technology advances, we can expect even more awe-inspiring and capable systems to emerge. The future of warfare is rapidly evolving, and these remarkable machines are at the forefront, ready to shape the outcome of battles without putting human lives at risk. Frontiers of Cybersecurity In the heart of the Middle East, nestled between the ancient cobblestones of Jerusalem and the innovation hubs of Tel Aviv, a digital revolution has bruised the nation of Israel. Steeped in history, this nation has emerged as a global vanguard in the realm of cybersecurity. It all began in the late 1990s as the world embraced the digital age. Israel recognized the evolving nature of threats. Gone were the days when battles were fought only on land, sea, and air. The digital realm emerged as the new battleground. Israel, often considered the godfather of cybersecurity, foresaw the significance of this paradigm shift. In a conference in Herzliya in 1999, it was declared that the next war wouldn't just be fought with missiles, but with bites and bits. Unit 8200, the elite intelligence corps of the Israel Defense Forces, played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's cybersecurity landscape. Their operations remained shrouded in secrecy, but stories occasionally trickled out painting a picture of young tech prodigies working tirelessly to defend the nation's digital frontiers. An anecdote tells the tale of a 19-year-old soldier from Unit 8200 who detected and neutralized a sophisticated cyber attack targeting Israel's water supply. When asked about his motivation, he simply said, Water is life. Protecting it is my duty. Tel Aviv, often dubbed the Silicon Wadi, became the epicenter of Israel's cyber endeavors. By 2010, the city was bustling with startups, incubators, and innovation labs dedicated to cybersecurity. The annual Cyber Week conference hosted at Tel Aviv University drew experts, innovators, and policymakers from around the globe. It was here in 2013 that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu remarked, In the cyber realm, the defender has to be right 100% of the time, while the attacker only has to succeed once. This asymmetry keeps me awake at night. But what truly set Israel apart was its unique melding of academia, military, and industry. Universities like Ben Gurion in Be'er Sheva not only offered cutting-edge cybersecurity courses, but also partnered with the industry to drive research and innovation. Dr. Gabby Saboni, a prominent figure in Israeli cyber academia, often emphasized the need for this trinity, stating, Knowledge, application, and innovation are the cornerstones of our cyber strength. One of the curiosities of Israel's cybersecurity ecosystem was the Human Firewall Initiative. Instead of solely relying on technology, Israel invested heavily in training its citizens to recognize and report cyber threats. The rationale was that technology might fail, but a vigilant citizenry could provide an added layer of defense. Amidst the bits and bytes, Israel's cyber journey had its fair share of tales of intrigue. Whispers in the alleyways of Jerusalem spoke of a joint operation between Israel and the U.S., leading to the creation of the Stuxnet worm. This malware allegedly sabotaged Iran's nuclear program in 2010. While the details remain classified, Stuxnet showcased the profound impact of cyber warfare on geopolitics. Throughout its cybersecurity voyage, Israel drew inspiration from its rich tapestry of history and culture. The ancient walls of Jerusalem, which once protected the city from invaders, were often likened to modern firewalls. As renowned historian El Baravi once mused, just as our ancestors guarded these walls with vigilance, we must guard our digital walls with equal fervor. In this realm of bits and bites, Israel stood strong, recognizing that without warriors, its wings would be vulnerable intelligence gathering, and analysis. Israel has adopted the use of artificial intelligence in their security forces. This is incredible. But before we delve into this story,
Let's talk about recent events. Israel's airstrikes have claimed the lives of at least 70 Palestinians, reigniting the conflict after a week-long truce. But what you might not know is the disturbing truth behind Israel's targeting strategy. According to a stunning report, Israel has developed a chilling concept known as the Mass Assassination Factory. Former intelligence officers have come forward to reveal the disturbing details. They disclose that Israel is using artificial intelligence to draw up targets, even if it means risking the lives of hundreds of Palestinian civilians. Yes, you heard it right. The Israeli military has approved assassination strikes, fully aware that they could result in significant collateral damage. Nothing happens by accident, they say. Every decision to strike is intentional, calculated, and with full knowledge of the potential harm to innocent lives. Reports indicate that civilian targets, including apartment complexes, universities, and banks, have been attacked deliberately to exert civil pressure on Hamas. The Israeli military's goal is not just to eliminate specific threats, but to create shock and awe, to maintain a certain image of victory in the eyes of the Israeli public. But how did Israel reach this point? It began in 2019 with the establishment of the Targets Division, a military unit dedicated to developing AI algorithms and automated software for target selection. The quantity of targets became the measure of success, with little regard for their quality. The urgency to create more targets stems from a history of running out of viable options during previous operations. Now, fast forward to the present day, and we find ourselves in a situation where target production has surpassed the rate at which Israel can bomb them. The advent of AI has turned this conflict into a chilling mass assassination factory. The implications are dire. The lives of innocent Palestinians are hanging in the balance as Israel's military machine continues its relentless pursuit. We can no longer turn a blind eye to these developments. The resumption of hostilities in Gaza is catastrophic, and we urgently call on all parties and influential states to work towards an immediate ceasefire on humanitarian and human rights grounds. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.